Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It is Adeline, I am back with another video. And as you can already see from the title, today we are gonna be talking about how I plan and organize my life. How I plan and organize content, schoolwork, my actual job, church, personal goals, everything. We're gonna be talking about that today. You better get your notebook out and take some notes because I'm about to give you guys some advice on how you can actually accomplish your goals this year. So let's get right into it. The very first thing that I like to do, and I personally like to write things out, like physically, whether it's on my whiteboard, my calendar, a poster board, I like to physically write things out. So if you wanna do it digitally, that's also great as well. I know a lot of people like to use their iPad, laptop, computer, phone to write things out. I like to physically write it out. So however you like to do it, you're gonna take a second, you're gonna sit down, think about the things that you wanna accomplish this year, the goals that you wanna accomplish, the things that you wanna work on, and you are going to write everything out. I'm telling you, Sometimes it can feel like you could just keep things in your head, but sometimes it gets too overwhelming. If everything is in your head, it gets all jumbled and it's hard to actually make a plan and strategize on how to get to your goal when everything is just in your head. So you wanna write everything out so you can see it and then you can begin to strategize. So write everything out and we'll get into the next step. And then the next thing that you want to do is you want to create main categories and then you want to create subcategories underneath that. So what I mean by this is, for example, for me, different categories would be personal, content, work, and then school. Those are my main four categories. You might have more, you might have less, depending on what the goals that you have for this year are. So you wanna put them into categories. And then under each category, you also wanna create subcategories. So under content for me, it would be Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, Pinterest, and then brand deals. And then under school, it would be the courses that I'm taking this semester and the courses that I have left for my program. Under personal, I would have my relationship with God, relationship with friends and family, health and fitness, whatever other personal goals that I have, and then work, of course. So go through your main categories and create subcategories underneath that. Once you have done that, we're gonna get into the next step. So the next thing that you now wanna do is this honestly might take more than a couple of minutes it might take a couple of hours and it might get a little bit overwhelming so i also would recommend doing it over a couple of days i also recommend doing this with friends as well like have a cute little vision board night with your friends sit down ask them for advice too i feel like that's always great to have people to keep you accountable that's another thing is to have people around you who can encourage you motivate you give you advice keep you accountable support you all that great stuff so that would be a great way for you to do this as well but you can also do it by yourself so now that you have all of your goals written out in your different categories you are going to divide all of the things that you want to accomplish into each category. So take your list of everything that you wanna accomplish and you're now going to take everything and put it under the appropriate category. Once you have done that, we're gonna get into the next step. So this next thing is something that has helped me to actually achieve my goals and not just have them written down and not just have them in my head, but to actually get them and to make them realistic and attainable. And this is to take your long-term goals and to split them into realistic and attainable steps that you can actually follow and that you are going to sustain. So an example, I know a lot of people wanna work out more, they wanna eat healthier. So let's say your goal is that eventually you wanna work out five days a week. Let's say right now you don't go to the gym at all. You haven't been to the gym in a couple of years. It's not the most realistic that you're gonna go from not going to the gym at all to all of a sudden going five days a week and you're gonna sustain that for the whole year. That's not the most realistic. I mean, if you're able to do that, 
go ahead do your thing that is some next level motivation and discipline but for a lot of us we'll probably do that for a couple of weeks we'll get tired it's too overwhelming then we fall off then we stop going to the gym and then we say we're going to do the same thing next year and then we just keep repeating the cycle we're not going to do that anymore what you want to do instead is you want to split your goal of going to the gym five days a week into realistic short-term goals that you can accomplish and that are sustainable for your current schedule so let's say right now with your current schedule your mindset and how you're feeling you know that you can sustain going to the gym once a week let's say you know that right now this is something that you could sustain for the rest of the year so you start off by going to the gym once a week you do it for a couple of months you're feeling good and you know that you can now add a couple more days so let's say you go from one day a week to three days a week. Now you're going three days a week. That's another goal that you've accomplished. You've been going consistently. You feel good. You now know you can add another day. You get to four days. Eventually you sustain that as well. And now you add on one more day and now you're going five days a week and you're able to sustain it because you have accomplished it progressively. Instead of just jumping from zero to five, you've gone through one, two, three, four, and five and you're now able to sustain it for a longer time because it's been a lifestyle change. All right, so now you're probably thinking, okay, I have all these goals written now. How is this gonna help me? How am I gonna accomplish them, blah, blah, blah. There's a couple of ways that I like to do this and this honestly has helped me so much to be very productive this month. And I feel like typically, January for me is kind of a slow month. I'm not really that productive, but this year just feels different. It really feels different. As in like actually feels different. Not just like we see that every year, but like this year, I mean it. Last year I was kind of like, uh, this year I could feel it. I could feel it. And I know a lot of people do too. Um, so what I like to do is a couple of things. The first thing that I like to do is to create weekly checklists. And I have one right here. This is my whiteboard from Walmart. You can get these from Walmart, the dollar store, Amazon, Target, Superstore, the craft store, literally anywhere. It's just a whiteboard. A lot of people sell whiteboards. So I got this whiteboard here. And what I like to do every week is I write down a checklist of things that I need to accomplish that week. So let's say I have assignments that are due. I write it all in here. Um, let's say there's videos that I want to post. I write them down as well. Let's say there's editing I need to get done. I write that down. Let's say there's an event at church I need to go to. I write that down. Something that I need to prep. Whatever I need to get done that week, it's all going to be on my weekly checklist. And it's things that I can actually cross off as I go. I'm telling you, just the feeling of crossing something off a list just makes you feel so accomplished. And that's why I like to write it down on my whiteboard. It just feels so good. Um, so on here, I have a list of things that I needed to get done for the week that I also had goals for the week as well. So for example, one of mine was to order no Uber Eats and to do daily bible reading and prayer so i had that with a little box next to it so that once i accomplish it at the end of the week i can check it off and make a new uh, checklist for the next week then i have my planner here this is definitely not my aesthetic i don't know who went to winners and took all of the cute journals we honestly need to fight because winners is where i go to get all of my cute journals and someone took them all it was literally empty at two winners locations on two different days they were empty so i don't know who's buying all the journals but this is all that um this is the cutest one that they had at walmart so that's what i had to get but obviously it has a month what am i even saying guys it has the month for each month and then it has a weekly planner <laughs> it has a monthly and weekly planner so on top of my weekly checklist i go through each month so this month is obviously January and I'll go through the month. Let's say there's specific days that I need to do something. I write it down in the monthly planner section. Let's say I want to post on YouTube every Friday. I write that down. Let's say I write down my work schedule. I write down my school schedule. When my assignments are going to be due, I write everything down. Then there's obviously the weekly planner as well. So the same way that I have my weekly checklist here, I also have it in my planner as well. And sometimes in my planner, I can go more in depth for each day whereas my whiteboard is just general checklist for the week my weekly planner here since it has each day with space to write underneath I'll go a little bit more in depth 
So for example, on here, I'll just write that I want to edit two YouTube videos or film two YouTube videos. In here, I'll actually write down what YouTube video that is, what I'm including in that video, etc. So this is my other place that I like to plan. Then I also have my calendar, which I still need to go through this to be honest. I haven't fully filled this out, but this is a calendar that I also got from Walmart. Um, it's just one that you can rip off as each month finishes and then you go to the next month and you just fill it out. So literally the same thing. Um, any important dates that I have, what I write down on here, I also write down on my calendar as well. That way I can look back at the end of the month, I can see what I was able to accomplish, what I wasn't able to accomplish, and that gets me into my next point, which is to revisit your goals weekly or monthly. So you've written down all your short-term goals, you've gotten your weekly checklist done, you're ready to attack the week, you do this four weeks in the month, and now we're at the end of the month. What you wanna do is revisit your goals, see what things you were able to accomplish, see what things you did well at and what things you didn't do that well at. Then you can start to re-strategize for the next month, which is what I'm going to do in a couple of days because we're all, almost at the end of January. Um, in a couple of days, I'm kind of going to go through the month of January and see how I was able to accomplish the things that I said I was going to do, the things that I was able to do. Give myself a pat on the back, celebrate yourself, treat yourself to a little treat. Then the things that you weren't able to accomplish, you want to kind of re-strategize for the next month and see how you can do it better, see how you can kind of readjust your goals so that you can accomplish them for the next month. All right guys, so we pretty much have gone over everything. Do you guys like this setup? I feel like super chill today. I'm honestly getting tired. That was a lot of talking. I had to refilm this a lot of times, but I hope that I gave you guys some strategies and some tips that are gonna help you for this year. I definitely believe that this year is going to be an amazing year. God is doing some really, really great things this year. And I will definitely talk a lot more about that on my channel with some of my friends as well. So I'm really excited for that. But I feel like this year is going to be amazing. I also just want to say thank you to everyone who has subscribed to my channel, who has been supporting my content, not just on YouTube, but Instagram and TikTok. And the sweet messages that you guys send, I really, really appreciate every single one of you for watching my content. But yeah, that's going to be the end of today's video. These are the main things that I do to plan and organize. I hope this video helped you guys out. If there's any questions that you guys have at all, let me know in the comment section below. Any other videos that you guys want me to do on this topic as well, let me know and we can get into it. I'm also going to do a little reset at the end of this month. Um, for my goals. So if you guys want to see like a more in-depth video of me actually planning, then let me know. I can do that for you guys as well. Um, but yeah, that's going to be the end of today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give the video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below letting me know what videos you guys want to see from me and any questions you have. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!